Hi, my name is Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester and I've got my hands on today the TaylorMade Speed Blade. This is the new offering from TaylorMade, the brand spanking new club and it's blue. So it's completely different, obviously, because it's a different colour. It's nothing like the Rocket Blades, honestly, Mr. TaylorMade. Um, the technology behind it, it's got a bigger speed pocket. So what's happened now, they've extended it on the toe and the heel. They've made it a little bit bigger. It's supposed to trampoline off the face a little bit more. They've also lowered the center of gravity, so it launches higher, and with the speed pocket, explosive distance, apparently. Longest club they've ever made, honestly. So, <laughs> longer than the one that they made six months ago. Um, it looks great. It looks very, very similar to the, to the Rocket Blades, I'll be honest with you. Um, slightly bigger head, only ever so slightly. In today's view, I'm going to hit some golf shots, talk about the dispersion. And then in the next video, I'm going to get it head to head up against the Rocket Blades iron, the TaylorMade one. The yellow TaylorMade against the blue TaylorMade. It's like it's the Power Rangers and stuff now at the moment. So we're going to start off with hitting a few of these first. I'm hitting real golf balls on flight scope down here at Trafford Golf Centre. A um, bit of a muggy, horrible day, but... The, fact, the figure shouldn't be too effective. There's not much wind out there. Um, first off, club offering behind the golf ball. It looks a little bit like TaylorMade of old, a little bit like the old uh, TaylorMade 2.0 burner. And the way that it actually got a slightly darker finish to it, um, for me, it's got a nicer grip. Now, loft and spec on these, the, the loft, I've got a six iron here. The loft on this is 26.5, so exactly the same loft as the previous TaylorMade model, but stronger than industry standard. Industry standard is somewhere near 28, 29 degrees, so it is a lot stronger, and it's also about half an inch to an inch longer in, in shaft length compared to industry standard as well. So, it looks great behind the golf ball. This should come out low, little, well, no, sorry, it should come out a little bit more higher than the old version because they brought the central gravity lower, but because of the strong loft, it should come out at medium height. Let's hit a few. That was really nice. And that's come out more like a six iron height for me. Um, where normally the older ones, I would say, would launch a tad bit lower. And therefore, you're really just hitting a five iron. This has got the, the loft of the six. Uh, sorry, the strong loft of a five iron, but the launch of the six. So it's going to go a bit further. <laughs> just on flight scope there, I've just pitched that 196 yards. So it's pretty long. Uh, let's hit a few more. Yeah, that launch is so much higher than the old one. That's nice. I'll tell you what, they might have brought a club out that, that isn't just a blue tailor made. Technology might have just lowered that centre of gravity, making it launch a touch higher, going a bit further. 196 again. Oh, I've just hit out the toe. Now, this is going to be interesting because they've extended these toe pockets on the side and the heel pockets. Apparently on off-centre strikes, they're supposed to be a bit further as well. 182, not bad. So not quite as far as the other two, but that was a very toey strike. Let's try and catch one a touch out the heel to see if that same forgiveness happens there as well. Oh, I'm sorry, I've just absolutely buttoned that. I've hit that right in the middle of the club. I'd love to say to you that was out the heel, but it wasn't. That was smack bang in the middle of the club. Couldn't have hit that any more centred. Should be a nice distance on it, 195. So very similar to the couple of strikes I hit at the start. Let's hit one more, see if I can just catch this a touch out the heel. Yeah, that was a touch more heely. Just heel side of centre that time. That'd be interesting with the, uh, the distances. The height is really nice. You can see the flight scope figures up on screen at the moment. And 188, so it's a very long six iron, I'll be honest with you. There's some real good length, and because of that extra launch, and with the speed pocket with the strong loft, and the extra long length of the club, it doesn't feel like you're hitting a five iron anymore, where in yesteryear in the TaylorMade, yesteryear, all of six months ago, the, the speed blade seemed a bit like it was launching like a five iron as well. This seems to launch like a six iron, the loft of a five iron, the length of a five iron, so you're getting the height and the distance. I tell you what, speed blades, you've sold it to me. This is the new TaylorMade speed blades, the blue TaylorMade one, as I'm going to keep calling it, so I don't get keep mixed up with the names. Very nice offering from TaylorMade, great golf club. In the next video, I'm going to then pitch it up against 
the Rocket Blade. So we're gonna see which of these two bad boys is the longest and see which one is gonna be giving us the best distance. Thanks so much for watching. My name's been Rick Shields down here at Trafford Golf Centre in Manchester. You can check me out on Facebook and Twitter and please do subscribe to the channel. The more subscribers I get, the more videos I shall do for you guys to keep watching. So that was the TaylorMade Speed Blades.